So right in the throat, and then in, in both the same spots. So, stay right there. Huh? So when you go to tack this up, make sure that your tacks are on the outside of these. So you're gonna run a tack like right here. So this is where your strap's gonna come out of. Make sure your tacks are on the outside. And then you're gonna come right here and you're gonna to wanna to tack both your throats first, okay? <clears throat> that way when you go, if, if these ears are too tight, you can always take a wedge, you can beat the wedge in here, open these up a little bit, and then run two tacks on both sides of it. So four total. What that's gonna do is that's gonna hold everything in place. It's still gonna suck up a little bit. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you run your throats first because you do not want those sucking up. You will trap slag every time. Run your throats first with your root. Run these next, your, your ears, and then finish running the root out on it. That's key. And, and when you run your strap pieces, you wanna make sure that you run one full rod all the way from end to end. It's gonna keep you from trapping slag. So we're gonna tack this up and I'll show you how to get it put on your jack stand and then the rest is up to you guys. All right, we're, getting, we're ready to tack this up. Um, one other trick to this is you can move these spacers around. Say this is uh, this is too much and this is uh, it's too tight. Move these spacers down and that's going to make this kind of sit and open this up a little bit. Move your stuff around to where it's fitting pretty good before you tack it up because once it's tacked, got to run with it so we're getting ready to let you zoom in on that yep, did. huh I did. can you see it yeah okay so right here I got just just a little bit shy of an eighth inch gap and I'm gonna run a little tack running from this way uh, about uh, about an inch and a half tack on both sides of this We'll do it on this other side. If we need to, we'll take a wedge, we'll beat it onto it, and, and run it. But, when you run this one side, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your spacers come out or you'll never get them out. Run two tack, get your spacers out. We're gonna run a wedge on the other side and, uh, and get our gap that way. So here we go. the whole thing because the root they're gonna come check your root no matter what so make sure that your gaps are good that you can fill everything up if you need to pound a wedge in make sure you get this if you got to be I mean whatever you got to to get that gap to fill up um, like I said this isn't a perfect test if I was testing this would be a lot more perfect so now we're gonna come in here we're gonna tack Stay out of where your straps are going to be. You want to tack right on the outside of your strap. about is slag and inclusions so and your root because they're gonna come look at your root so anyway we'll tack on this other side and uh, and then we're gonna work on the ears
Like I said, you can feel a lot on a brand. Uh, this would be a lot more perfect if this was my kid. Okay, so right here, Liza, can you see that? So on this particular test, this is, I mean, that's plenty of gap. Like, you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, both sides are perfect. Except for that side. That side's pretty big. But, if you have to, a lot of times, you can split the difference. Sometimes. You can get that wedge pounded in there. I mean, it ain't going to give a lot, but it might rotate a little. Another thing is, is if your ears are just a little bit big, once you get them tacked, Make sure you run your throat and it's going to kind of draw you in a little bit and it'll kind of close that gap up a little. So anyways, get your wedge in there. That wedge is in there. So you're going to want to get your gap on both sides. You're going to run two more tacks in both sides and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. So what I would wind up doing is I would take a wedge and I would pound that wedge in there to where it opens this up. Your gap is everything on these branches. I mean, if you can get these gaps right, you basically made your test as long as you keep the shit, keep all the crap out of it. Get that sucker pounded open. Make sure it's wide enough that you can get in there and get her done. Put me on 50. Both sides, same thing.
spot. Now, this is not how you're supposed to weld one of these up. Once everything is ground and, and ready to weld, take a jack stand, Ed. Stick it on here. Stack this in four spots. because I want my jack stand back. Now you're going to slide this in here. Okay, you guys, this is how you weld these branches up. You do not weld them the other one out, and that's what they're going to break, and they're going to look inside that and check. So weld, your, weld your throats first, full size. Weld your ears and then finish welding the rest of it. Once you got the ears and the throats, finish welding it and then always start with your throats and your ears. Make sure that they're done and then finish welding. Okay, uh, just a, another tip while you're doing these branches. There's some inspectors that are a little more strict than others. Some inspectors want you to come and get them after you're done putting the bead on so that they can examine, they can do a visual. They're gonna check the whole inside of this thing. And then they want you to come get them when they when you finish your hot pass, and then when you put your caps on. Others will wait until you've got the cap on. So just clarify with your inspector what he wants. Another thing is, guys, I've never been on one where you got a single bead cap one of these. I'm sure there's guys that have been. Run a two bead cap. Unless you are specifically told to run a single bead cap, and it's doable, these aren't that hard to do. But, unless you are specifically told to run a single bead cap, run a two bead cap. Run the bottom first, and then run the top. Make sure everything looks good, make sure everything ties in, there's no undercut. And man, you guys are gonna be golden. We're gonna be, I mean, you're gonna be ready to roll. This is usually your last test. So after you've done a freaking two six G's or whatever else they got, this is the final test. You're gonna wind up doing this, you pass this, you get your papers, you get in the money. Well, that's all we want, that's all we want is the money. So anyways, I hope that helps all you guys. If you have questions, let me know. Like, subscribe, comment. There better be a lot of comments and subscriptions and stuff. I just did this for you guys. These suck. These are not fun. So, help me out. We'll talk to y'all later. Be blessed. Love all you guys. See ya.